Did you know that there is plant-derived protein with higher leucine content than whey? The amino acid leucine is an important trigger for muscle protein synthesis. Whey protein is an ultra-processed product derived from cow's milk and is the animal source protein with the highest leucine content. The leucine content of isolated corn protein at around 13.5% is higher than whey protein at 11%. The quoted value for potato protein is a bit lower at 8.3% but this is still higher than casein from milk at 8% and egg protein at 7%. Whilst potato and corn are mostly carbohydrates in their whole food form, their isolated protein seems to be a great protein source, such as when used in drinks. Just to know, all isolated protein is classified as ultra processed according to the NOVA system of food classification. However, the classification does not consider health outcomes and many ultra processed foods may actually be health promoting. There are a number of studies, particularly in young males, in which muscle protein synthesis rates after the ingestion of 30 grams of plant protein, such as corn to derived protein, potato protein or wheat protein do not differ after the ingestion of an equivalent amount of milk protein. Fortification of protein with specific amino acids and blends are options to increase muscle protein synthesis rates further. In this one there was a trend for the non-animal source protein blend to increase muscle protein synthesis rates to a greater extent than milk protein, although results did not quite reach statistical significance. There is research that both omnivorous and vegan studies dietary patterns can support equivalent rested and exercise muscle protein synthesis rates in older adults consuming high protein diets. Actual muscle mass and strength gains are much more important though than getting overly fixated on muscle protein synthesis rates or the amino acid profile of individual foods. Research demonstrates that what is most important is to eat enough protein throughout the day and engage in regular resistance training. If you don't want to be concerned about the protein quality of individual foods then aiming for about 1.6 grams per kilogram body weight of protein per day seems to be a good value to aim for.